Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a, um, a flower pot heater. Mainly uh, I'm making it so I can use it on my camping tent. Because I like to go camping on Ocala, Florida, Ocala National Forest. And it gets really cold there in this time of, time of the year. Between uh, December and February. Whew, super cold. So, so my kids and I don't freeze our asses off. I'm going to make three of these. But I'm going to show you just how to make one. Um... Uh, Currently, you're going to need two pots, one bigger than the other, because this one's going to go inside. Then you're going to need a base, like so. I use a drill bit to make a hole in it, so I can put the, uh, the threaded rod right through it. I am pers My personal design I'm going to use, I'm going to use two bases, one facing against each other, like so. So if any heat gets transferred into this plate, it won't get transferred into the floor of the... Of the tent otherwise it'll melt the plastic of the tent and I don't want that so I just put an extra one at the bottom for extra security just in case because these things can get pretty hot and um, so the other thing you will need is a uh, I personally am using a 516 threaded rod I'm gonna use eight uh, 516 bolts and eight 516 washers large ones too plenty of area so it'll protect it'll hold everything in place um, other than that, besides making the holes on the on the base, that's basically all you need. Everything can be done by hand. You don't need any major tools. It gets pretty pretty solid. So to get started, I like to first start with the big pot. I'm gonna put a washer down. I'm going to thread it. This part takes forever, so. That's about right. Then under here goes another washer. And another bolt. This is the part that takes a little while, so. Because <laughs> I have to literally thread it by hand. Now the threaded rod was actually about 12 inches. And what I actually needed was about eight to nine inches, close to nine inches, about eight and a half to nine. So I was trying to use a hacksaw. It was rather difficult, so I used my grinder. I have it over there, and I grinded it down. It was a lot easier with a grinder. A little loud, but it did the job. So yes, you may need a few hardware tools to get the job done properly. So if you don't have any major tools, go to a buddy's house. See if he has any. See if he'll get lend you a hand. These things are worth it, trust me. They, they are worth it. Especially when you need it. This, this can also be used localized in a bedroom, in the corner of the, of the house. I've seen a couple of YouTube videos. The guy puts two of them in the pendulum, in the balance pendulum. It's pretty kind of cool. Sorry, in, uh, in a way balance. <clears throat> and that looks pretty neat. Very, very stylish. But all I'm going to use it for is, I don't want it to look good, I just need to do the job because I'm going to be camping. I'm going to be in the woods, it doesn't necessarily have to look good. Threading takes forever! There we go, we're almost there. And we have reached our destination. I try to center it as much as possible. Because once you tighten it, it really gets tight. Like, this is not going anywhere. This is just hand tight. Uh, the whole washer set up, the whole, everything just works. <clears throat> so now we're going to put another bolt. Because having two bolts in here creates enough space. This cannot be just touching the... Uh, the bottom you need to have air flowing so the heat can be transferred to this spot and this spot and it kind of multiplies so you have to put another bolt down
to create the space necessary for it. Go! Get to the water! Go now! Get to it! Now the puma! idiot do I have this part takes fire so you more than welcome to fast forward into the into the good parts all right that's hand tight and down goes another washer like so he goes a smaller pot right in the middle like so and as you can see there's space around it so when you put the candles the heat flows right through it and the, the way it works is pretty cool it just the clay pots absorb the heat and when it absorbs so much it starts radiating it and having two pots it kind of doubles that heat in a way it's pretty clever the way it's set up the way the way it works so down goes another washer like so and boringly enough another bolt Here we go. We're almost done, boys and girls. Ladies and gents. Them humans, them gods. Atheists, Christians, believers, non believers. We're almost done. it was a faster way to do it I have yet to figure it out how to do the little fast forward thing on videos I haven't figured it out yet I'm not a professional YouTuber I'm a amateur at best but my videos are real at least that's really exactly what I'm doing I'm just literally threading it down so I was there I was there oh yeah baby yep yeah. my first time trying to find it it by hand. See? Sturdy as hell. And only tighten it by hand. Look at that. Uh, this is fascinating. So, we got uh, the major parts set up. Now we're going to um, set up the base. So I'm going to be using two. First, I'm going to need, let's see here. I need more washers. And I'm going to have to put another bolt down. Because this will hold it in place. Like so. Another washer goes down. Then we're gonna put in the base. You're starting to see the picture, right? <laughs> then we go with another washer, another bolt. Again, you don't need to use any special tools by hand and ladies and gentlemen you have your local heater like so just putting it together is what takes the longest really <laughs> uh, and making the holes on the base I had to use the drill bit uh, these bases don't come with the hole the pots do come with the holes automatically and when you put the washer over it it just covers it but the pots do not you might have to use the drill bit and then uh, Use a small drill bit, make a small hole, and then use a bigger drill bit, and then make the bigger hole. And there you have it, boys and girls. Your local heater. I'm gonna take it inside and pull the uh, put the candles in. I'll show you how it looks. All right, guys, I.
put it together and put the candles in. You can fit four if you really, really need a lot of heat. But right now, two is enough. It's collecting enough heat. Like so. It's only been there for like two minutes. So the heat built over time. Heat starts to build up in there. Oh yeah, it's starting to get yeah, hot in there. Really hot. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And thanks for supporting my channel. For those of you who have subscribed, um, my channel is a crappy channel. I admit it, but at least I show us, you know, whatever I learn, I like to show. Whether it's cars, camping, whatever experience I'm having. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks.